assignments on defense, you know, not closing out with the right feet, you know, being in the right spot, you know, not missing blockouts, things like that. But uh, we'll, I'll adjust. Uh, you can't take that down or down off your face now. Is it staying there? No, it, it, it has to stay there. we got plenty more games to be played, so I'm sorry to get stay up there as long as it takes to what do you think of the, the young guys today? I think they play really well. Um, they play with a lot of enthusiasm. You know, Hubs played especially well. Uh, he was getting his shots up. You know, I like that. And AJ was very active on both ends of the court. And um, Darius, he, he just really was our, our floor leader. He, he was nice and calm. Darius is always calm, so you can't shake him. Anything you saw from the guys today that maybe you hadn't seen in practice that surprised you or pleased you? Um, no, not really. You know, it's, it's pretty cut and dry with these guys. You're going to get what you're going to get. I was very nervous. My hands were cold, so you know, I went out there and I uh, missed a couple wide open layups. Like I said, I probably would, but you know, uh, I, I, I get nervous at every game. But you know, hopefully, once the season gets rolling, I'll find my foot. The cold hands. When was the last time you were in a game with that? With that happens? Oh man, I don't know. Probably our first game with Coach Martin under Coach Martin. How would you feel about the officiating? I mean, there's so much talk about the rules changes. Did you see much difference? Um, nah, I, I can't really tell from one game, you know. But maybe as we get three, four games, uh, you probably start to see a little, a little difference. You know, I was very effective last the year before last with taking charges and everything like that. But um, it's, it's a little bit different now, so I gotta be more careful. How do you think Jarnell has changed since the last time you played in a game with him? Um, I, you can tell he's way more focused. And uh, you can also tell that he's uh, way more uh, selective on his shots. You know, and uh, he, he's making a higher percentage on his shots. So I think that's really well, and that's really going to benefit us and him in the long run. Thanks, John. Because this game was getting closer and closer, and I know you get excitement and nerves are building up. Did you hear from? I imagine there had to be a lot of people reaching out to you or, or letting you know they were they were going to be watching or were paying attention to you. Can you kind of describe, I guess, maybe what the what the word from others was like leading up to this game? Uh, you know, I, I really didn't look at my phone or anything like that, just for that simple fact. You know, um, didn't want to think too much of it. Just want to go out here, um, just get a game under my belt, and just just really try to start shaking up some of the rest. I guess now is it now this first one is over. It's just business as usual. You kind of got the, I guess the jitters out. You feel like? Or is it still kind of a process? It's, 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 it's still a process, you know. I'm still um, trying to find my ways. It's been a long time since I've been out there. You know, that's just one game, so I got to make sure I go out here and. Uh, Take the next game like I did this one. Jerome, what's the biggest aspect of your game that you think is different since the last time you um, played? Probably just more patience and uh, my free throws. You know, I spent a long time uh, in the gym uh, practicing free throws and just my shooting stroke in general. So uh, you'll see that as the season goes along.